this morning. When a man decided to desecrate the Lord's altar, oh. he never knew he was fighting more than he can chew. The, the, the lie lingered on. I know nobody called to me. And the truth refused to die. my husband. Reverend, I have a letter here with me. As we see in Blood on, on the Altar, a new movie from the Monsanto Films Production Nigeria. Blood on the Altar. The man is lying. I don't know what you're talking about. And the ghost is haunted in Blood on the Altar. Written, produced, and directed by Mike Bamiloye. Blood on the Altar. Heaven Matches, Gloria Bamiloye, Elizabeth Oriadoli, Helen Jarrett. Blood on the Altar. Available from Mozambique Media Connections, 48 Bavanya Wulawa, Ikeja Randabawa, telephone 08052018467, and 16 Elizabeth Road near Cook Logica, Mokola, Ibadan, telephone 08038323367, and 08030831556, and 59 Ring Road, opposite Dikat House Challenge, Ibadan, telephone 08038323367, and 08030831556. Blood on the hold, a new movie from Monsanto. The roads are moving as a destructive end. The enemy going against the youth. The youth going against the Lord. Is dangerous, Tayo. Going on destructive highway. Unless there is heavenly intervention. The youth lost. Another inspiring movie from the Mozilla Films Production, Nigeria. The youth lost. Written by Damilola Pamiloy. Produced and directed by Mike Pamiloy. The youth lost. Joseph Shalom. Gloria Pamiloy. Ayo Nyojo, Daniela Bamiloye, Elvon Jarrett, and Dottora Fashola. The youth who lost. Now available at Monzao Media Connection, 48 Obafemi Awolawa, Ikeja Randabout. Telephone 08052018467. And 6 Queen Elizabeth Road, near Group Medica, Mokola, Ibadan. Telephone 08038323367. And 08038031556. And 59 Ring Road, opposite Dickert House, Challenge, Ibadan. Telephone 08038323370. 08030831556. A for lost. A must for every home.
what of it? Stays under the water, it sees. May I see? May I see? Perplexity. You caused the people of Muoleru 
Neither do I worry about the way you determine their affairs. Whatever you like, you may do to them. If you like, you may turn the whole world upside down. But there is just one thing I ask of you. It is the underdog that has the full backing of its master that kills the monkey. Do not withdraw yourself. Back me home. What wrong have I done? We sent a message to you. Through our box of Koso, you refused to send reply. With that attitude of yours, you have offended us. <laughs> I remember. But you hold me, trust me. I have sent back your message long before now. You sent a message to me through a bongo kosho. But I have sent a reply back through a yelkunuku, the beer headed poncho. I have replied. It is soon best to you. Wait for it. Now, Arubeta, you the three horrible and merciless witches. Let's put all that aside and discuss funny matters. Speak, Shaul. Thanks. That girl was brought to me now. Her parents are crying and they are panicking. They said the girl is dying. And I have come to you to know the cause of the matter. I didn't know you are in charge of the matter. Of course we are. We are in charge of the whole thing. We caused it. What sacrifice will appease your wrath? What cost do you want the parents to pay so that they can tell them? They said the child is dying. What do you want to take from them? Tell me. Nothing can appease us. No ritual, no sacrifice. It was the mother of the child that insulted one of the witches in the neighborhood. And the witch brought the report to us. Shaul, look, the spirit of the child is already tied up here. We are leaving our flesh and our blood for food and drink. Tomorrow night, at the Shondwai, a venue for the next monthly lunar meeting. No ritual, no sacrifice. <laughs> <laughs> Arumeta, you must change your body. You must release this child for me. Must you let me down? You must release this child for me. Miss Aulu, you speak like a fool. Can you agree that we release to our end a fifth that to play on our guys, or will you be happy if you bring power to us to deal with? I will release the water to someone else. That is an act of betrayal. I will do not do that. Our own power do not feed on the entrails of each other. No, Shaul, stay clear of this matter. You have no part in the child goes tomorrow night. All those signs on the child are preparation for her final exit tomorrow. When the moon stands straight in the sky tomorrow, the child goes. No ritual, no sacrifice. Now, Arumeda, but you have to help me. You have to at least give me a little respect in the sight of the parents. You have to help me out. You have to help me. What we shall do now is to give you something to rub on the child's body. When you do that, the child will get well instantly. She will be completely all right, eating and playing around, and her parents will be happy. But remember, the child is already in our bondage. When the moon appears in the sky tomorrow night, you understand? Yes, I understand. Shaul, 
What we are about to give you now is to make the child all right between now and tomorrow night. Nothing can stand in the way of our death tomorrow night. She will be all right now, but we are going home with an empty child, a living dead child. You understand? Tomorrow night, she goes. Then, I do understand. Right, you shall now stay. When I throw it here, you catch it over there. When you get to them, rub it over the child's body and she'll be well instantly. And what do you want me to demand from the child's spirit? You can demand whatever things you like from them. Anything. But don't forget you are still old enough a living human being. Before the next market day, make sure you pay us all that you want. We need a young man from you as your monthly gift for all the support we give to you. Mm. You will hear from me today. I will pay all I owe. <laughs> Yes, come in. 
that lady said you want to see me. What is the matter? You see, right, Jenny. I am really troubled in my heart. That is why I call on you so that I uh, I can share my body with you. Is it another matter? Yes, right, Jenny. You see that message delivered by that man of God, Evangelist Gideon, who preached yesterday night at the missionary service. It was as if the man of God was sent to me directly from God to show me the mind of God. My experiences these past few days, they are all pointing to the fact that it is time for me to obey the call of God. Well, and I have to obey Him. Well, I don't understand all this. But if you want to show that the Holy Spirit is calling you to the ministry, I will advise you to obey His voice without hesitation. But, I need more confirmation. I need to be more convinced on this matter. But you know, sincerely, I too have been receiving some messages from the Holy Spirit for the past few weeks now for you. I'm beginning to feel that the Lord has a special work for you to do for Him somewhere. But I don't know the type of the work yet. Hmm. Well, when I was reading my Bible this morning, okay, I came across a passage in the scripture which really frightened me seriously. It was the book of Acts of Apostles, chapter 22, verse 21. Acts of Apostles. Listen to it. It says, and he said unto me, Depart, for I will send thee far as unto the Gentiles. And what does that supposed to mean? See, when I came across this passage, it was just as if someone struck my chest with every rod. Gradually, <laughs> a lot of revelation have been having with the scriptural verses I've been reading these few months. They are proving that the Lord is calling me into the ministry. Brother well, my advice is very simple. If you are very sure that the Lord is calling you into his ministry, do not hesitate at all. I advise you to surrender your hearts to the work of God and be ready to do His will. If the Lord is calling you into the ministry now, do not waste time any longer. I advise you to launch out in faith. Thank you very much, Brother Day. Okay. I will think more about it. That's all right. Thank you, Brother. And he said unto me, Depart, for I will send thee far as unto the Gentiles. <sighs> From here will I depart. Here is the place. No one to go. And we are the Gentiles.
You dare not do that. Have you forgotten that you are getting closer to a great promotion? Have you forgotten? You don't need to be told. You already know that. You are on the way to the post of a manager. Have you forgotten that? Ah! The chairman has already said that there is going to be a meeting on promotional exercise. Next month, how dare you think of leaving your job? Ah, you are one of those to be promoted, aren't you? Ah, you are not thinking of leaving your job? Ah, that is real foolishness. You will soon become one of the topmost officials of these big and lucrative companies. Are you not saying you are hearing a call from God into the ministry? Which type of foolish call is that? Ah, it is true. My promotion. My promotion is getting closer. But I'm sure of this call of God. I'm sure of it. I'm having a strong feeling that the Lord wants want me to do this job. I'm feeling He needs me in a special assignment. He wants me to go to the Gentiles. And I'm sure of this call of God. What is it? Are you really sure of this call of God? Ah, remember, for the past six years, you've been sitting for one professional examination or the other. Various professional examinations you've been sitting for. And now that your promotion to a higher post is just by your doorstep. You are saying you are receiving a call of God to the ministry. What sort of call of God is that? That is nothing but madness. It is madness. Ha. What do you think your friends, your relatives, and even your bosses at work will call you. They will call you an insane person, a mad person. They will say you are totally out of your mind. Ah, you better think of this thing very, very well. Think over it again and again. No. This must be the devil speaking into my heart. If the people call me a fool or a lunatic, that's fine of me. People can call me a fool for obeying the Lord. I'm all right. It is true my promotion is near the door. But I'm ready to count the promotion and this worldly glory and honor as nothing in order to obey the Lord and do His will. I'm sure of this call. Down to sure. Right. Have you forgotten that you just got married? Did you tell your wife you'll be going to the work of the ministry immediately after your wedding? Did you make such a covenant with her? Ah. If you drop your letter of resignation now and go into the work of the ministry, what do you expect her to eat? How do you expect her to cope? But the Lord, who, who is calling me into the ministry, knows 
I've just got married. He knows all my life and the problem they are in. He calls me and is going to take care of all my problems. I'm sure of this call. Devil, I know you are the one bringing this fear into my heart to make me refuse the call of God. Your wife will not agree with you on this matter. You are going to disappoint her. Oh, you are going to disappoint the lady that loves you so much, that trusts you so much, the lady that depends on you. Oh, you dare not do that. Think of this matter very well. All these thoughts coming into your heart, consigning going into the ministry, is from the devil, not from God. This thought is not from God. The call is not from God. Ha! The call is from God. And I'm sure of it. There is no doubt in my heart. Yes. Things will be getting far better than this. Yes, it will. 
God I bless you. God I bless you. I bless you, God. Mm. But, but say, wait a minute. How will you react if Ola, your husband, suddenly say he's resigning from his place of work? No! Why should he do that? For what reason? I trust Kola. He cannot do that. Eh? You think so? You don't trust him. He can do it. What if he says? He's resigning his job in order to obey the Lord and go into the work of the ministry. He can say, the Lord wants to use him for perishing souls. He can say he's going into evangelical assignments. Oh no! But what type of evangelistic work is that? He can't do that. Kola cannot do that to me. No. No. But I assure you, you don't trust him. If God should resign from his present job, oh, ha, ah, shame, disgrace, ha, ah, you'll be in great problem of hunger and lies. You'll be greatly impoverished to the extent of begging for food. And your child, when you have a child, what is the child going to eat? Oh, great danger ahead. If Kola should retire from his job. No. No. Kola should not do this to me. He should not do this. Why should he do that? Why? Why should Kola do this? <laughs> if Kola should leave his present job now, I'm going to the work of the ministry. So, instead of you becoming the wife of a personal manager, you become the wife of a jobless man, a fatherless man, a beggar. Oh no! Your friends will look on you contentiously. And your family, they will despise you. Oh no! No! It should never happen. It can never happen. It's impossible. Ah, why all this? I will not stand for that. I will not. I will. Why am I, why am I thinking all this? This is mere thinking. Why all this fretting? Why? Sure. You are right. Kola has not said it. But the matter is simple. So, if you should talk of anything relating to ministry, or ordinary work, you will have to throw the idea back at his face. You quench the fire before it burns out. You should not allow such an idea from him now. Remember, Bible says two are better than one. If one falls, the other one raises him up. Kola wants to fall, and you must rescue him. So, don't ever allow such a thing like that to come up. Such things must never be allowed to stand while I keep my eyes widely open. Yes. Mm -mm. Must not happen. Yeah, you are what? 
come. You are a bit late today. <laughs> yes. See, I was busy uh, discussing something with uh, Bra and Jay in the office. And you see, I wasn't even conscious of the time. Yeah. <sighs> Dear, what's the matter? Your container seems too dull. Why? Oh, or is it because I'm I'm late? All right, dear. I'm sorry. Hmm? No, not at all. Uh, it's just because uh, I'm a bit troubled somehow in my heart. Why? What cause it? Don't mind me, dear. It's just the thought of heart. Just mere thought of my heart. Um, but the food is ready. You can let go to the table. Ah, please, wait a minute, dear. I, I have something on my mind to discuss with you before I eat. Come and have your seat. See, for the past three months now, the Holy Spirit has been revealing some things to me. The messages that I've been hearing, and including the various revelations and the words that the Holy Spirit is speaking to my mind, they are all pointing to the confirmation of the matter. Which matter? For example, the scripture, the, the scriptural passage we, we read in the morning. This also confirms the matter. But which matter is that? For instance, the uh, Act of Apostles that we read in the morning. I mean, the Act of Apostles, chapter 22, verse. Uh, 1 up to 21 It was just as if somebody hit my chest with heavy rod When we read verse 21 Verse 21. And he said unto me, Depart, for I will send thee far hence unto the Gentiles. But what does that passage mean to you? Hmm. It means uh, I think God is sending me into the ministry to serve him. How? See. For the past three months now, I've been on this matter. But this morning, when I came across this verse, then my eyes got opened. Then I could see that the Lord wants to send me into an evangelistic ministry. And I'm sure of the calling, unless I deliberately determined to disobey the Lord's call. I, 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 I'm not, I'm not got what you are trying to tell me. You know, explain, explain. I, I want you to explain in detail what you mean by that. I'm already having the feeling that God wants to send me to a place for a missionary work. But I've not known the place yet. However, uh, God is telling me to resign my post from my presented work. Wait a minute. Just wait a minute. Do you mean you want to leave your present job? 
Oh no! No! Does it mean that all these things have been coming to my heart for the past one and a half hours? They are all true. Oh no! No! <laughs> but dear, aren't you working for God in the church? Aren't you the, lead, the, 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 the youth leader in the church? You are spending your money for the, for, for, for the work of God. Dear, you are interpreting for the pastor, people in the church. Are they not God's work in the church? Are they not God's work? Listen, dear. It is true I'm doing all this work in the church. But now, the Lord says, he needs all my life. And remember, Buster, whoever the Lord specially loves, He calls upon to serve Him. And the Lord specially commits great assignment unto the hand of whoever He loves. You know? I no! I disagree! This is foolishness! You? Paula? Remember that you soon become a manager? You soon become a manager with all those great benefits coming on our way that we should leave the job? This is total madness. What shall we eat? How do you think we are going to face joblessness outside? No! It will never happen. Remember, Jose, God never calls anyone to shame and disgrace. I need your full support. Without your support, I cannot go into the work. You can never have my full support. You know I've, I've, I've not secured any employment anywhere. Who will take care of us? Even when we have a child, how are we going to care for that child? You want to expose me to disgrace and shame? What sort of disgraceful call of God are you talking about? I stand against that, Paula. Bossy, I'm sure of this call of God. Let us obey the Lord. Don't let us reject this call. No! I refuse to support you. I will never, never support you. Count me out. My friend, I will advise you to stop crying. Cry doesn't solve this problem. You just have to look for solution. Ajike, I mean we are friends. What am I supposed to do? My in-laws are giving me much trouble. They refuse to give my husband a breathy space. I mean, they are discouraging him a lot. Ajike, they are telling him to go and marry another woman so as, so as to give him a child. Huh? What else am I supposed to do? Imagine us. I mean, marry for five years without an issue. Without an issue. I mean, it's terrible. My husband, my, my, my mother has tried her, post, her best. But nothing came forth out of her efforts. Nothing! I mean, I just don't know. Kitelomo. Someone told me of her old man. And this will be the third person that will testify to, her, to the old man's ability to cure baddiness. So I said I should inform you. Another old man. I mean, is he a priest or a witch doctor? A powerful witch doctor. Different from those we have been patronized before. I was even informed that he gave powers to, to other abalists and priests. Ajike, Ajike, I'm no, I must not deceive you. I'm tired of all these abalists and witch doctors. Was that not how someone came here the other day and talked about a man living in a solo? The person convinced me 
that if the man is able to give me a child with his great power, and when we got there, what did he do? He took a lot of money from me. He made a lot of rituals for me. But nothing came forth out of, out of all his efforts. Look at my mother. She took me to a witch doctor at Edmabo. When we got the uncle, he could do nothing. I mean, he could do nothing. Someone came the other day and said that uh, there is a great priest, a powerful priest at Romania Bini City. Do you know Romania Romania Bini City? It all ended in lies. It all ended in life, if you could remember. Wasn't you that, wasn't you that followed me to a man in uh, Awai Jebu? When we got the car, nothing came forth out of it. You see, Ajike, I've taken a lot of concussion. A lot of con uh, concussion. Different kind of various black things, including a raw egg, raw egg. Given to me by white garment priest. White garment priest. Eh? You see, Ajike? I've taken a lot of baths at his side. Eh? It all ended in lies. Nothing came forth out of all this effort. I'm tired of all these abalists and witch doctors. So. I'm tired of them. I'm tired. He care no more. If I were you, I'd be revealed to get tired until I get what I want. We are never I can get it. Did your husband complain about the money he's spending on this issue? You have to look at this issue very well. Must look for a child till you get it. And I stand by you. Remember, if you have no child for engineer, you have no seat yet in this home. And your in law can influence engineer to kick you out of this house anytime. That's what I'm saying. Oh. Oh. It is time you go out again to look for solution. Thank you, Ajike. I agree with you. I agree. I mean, the man you talk about, who is he? I mean, who is that man? They said his name is uh, Ishawu. Ishawu. They said he's feared by both wishes and wizard. Highly respected by Emery and the spirit of the forest. Mm -hmm. Yes. They said they usually enter into the forest trees. Mm -hmm. To hold meetings with the demons. Eh? And many times he has gone right inside the seas mm -hmm. to attend conferences with familiar spirits. <laughs> the said is very powerful. Where does he live? And how can we get him, Ajike? How can we get the man? The said he lives in a village. And the village is a bit far to the city. <laughs> the village is called Mualeru. Mwoleru. Ah ah. Eh? Mwoleru. Yes. Mwoleru. Mm hmm. Afternoon, ma. Afternoon. Come in, please. Good afternoon, ma. Good afternoon, lady. Can we help you? My name is Mary. We are on house to house evangelism around this neighborhood. I'm from uh, that evangelical church by the roundabout. We are just here to preach the word of God to you. Mm -hmm. You want to share the word of God with us? Yes, ma'am. I just want you to give me just five minutes to share with you the word of God. Mm -hmm. Share it now. Thank you, ma'am. I just want to read two scriptural verses to your hearing. That is in, in the book of Isaiah 53, verse 4 and 5. It says, She had it. Surely he had borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. 
Yes, we did esteem him striking, smiting of God, and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgression. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. You see, this passage was referring to Jesus Christ. He is the one that bare all our bodies and took our soul. Jesus Christ was afflicted for our unrighteousness. And the chastisement of our peace is of him. Jesus Christ is the only one that has power to carry all our body and our soul in him. But he can only do this to whosoever that we put his trust in him. He can only do this to whosoever who will accept him as the Lord and Savior. Ma, if you can give your life to Jesus Christ, it will take away all your sorrows, your problems and difficulties, and it will give you peace. Ah, ah. Did anybody tell you I have problems and sorrow? No, ma. No one told me, ma. But there is no man in this world who has no sin in his life. And sin is the cause of man's problems. But it is only it is through Jesus Christ that we can receive forgiveness and deliverance from our sin. Colossians 1.14 says, We have redemption through the blood of Jesus and the forgiveness of our sins. If you come to Jesus Christ, he will forgive you all your sins and take away all your sorrow, problem and difficulty. And he will give you peace. Look here, lady. If this Jesus of yours, who wipe away problems and sorrow. He ought to have wiped away the, the problem of this friend of mine. Ajike, don't mind her. Hmm. Can I ever count the number of times I had a um, white fasting? Or the number of times I, I bought um, candles, packets of candles? What of the various times I bought at Rivers High? That's right. <laughs> Could you believe, Ajike, that I slept for a good three months on the Lagos Babish? Uh -huh. Yes. Three months on the Lagos Babish. The money I spent on various black and uh, toilet soap, including sponge, is running out to 2,000 naira. I've been to various white garment churches. Yes. Mm. I even got to a white garment priest. Yes. Three months for the Lagos Babish. The money I spent on various black and uh, toilet soap, including sponge, is running up to 2,000 naira. I've been to various white garment churches. Yes. Mm. I even got to a white garment priest who said I can never ever have a child until I agree to be his wife. Mm. Is that the man of God? Answer. Answer now. Is that the man of God? Ah, mommy, you've been to various herbalists, witch doctors and priests, mm -hmm. but you've not come to Jesus. You see, the true solution is not with these people, but with Jesus Christ. Ah, where else can I find the Jesus, if not in those churches and those places I've been to? <coughs> what I experienced in the hands of those prophets and priests is inexpressible. I've suffered a lot in their hands. I bought packets of candles, red candles. I bought black ones too. Could you believe that, that later on I started to buy candles in carton? Just in search for a solution to this my barrenness. <clears throat> As you can if you could remember, I slept on a beer on a cold beer floor with 21 candles lighted around about me. On the floor. If you could remember the Ajike, mm. once a prophet made me to carry a pot of concussion and he instructed me to go and smash it, smash it at the junction where three rows meet. Mm. I don't know if that one is a prayer or ritual. Eh? Mommy. Mm. Why can't you just go and taste this Jesus and see? Mm. A lot of people have let you down. 
but Jesus can never let you die. All these people you are talking about are for salvation of Jesus themselves. Who is this Jesus you are talking about? Jesus Christ can give you solution to your problem without any ritual of sacrifices. All these past efforts, ritual and sacrifices you made were not ordered by Jesus Christ. The devil made you do them to punish you the more. Jesus never punishes someone before giving her a child. He is so merciful and kind. What are you now listening to? <clears throat> what things can this lady tell us now? Haven't we been to the to these evil people in the past? This was how we were deceived. Into the trap of those white garments, prophets and priests. Mm -hmm. We have visited many powerful and popular prophets and priests. All their powers are failed. Should this lady deceive us back into their traps again? Mm. Now, you have two choices laid before you. Mm. Are you going to see that old man? Or listen to what this lady is now saying? Hmm, I agree with you, Ajike. Lady, Thanks very much. I will think on all what you have told me. Thanks. All right, ma'am. I will try and check back. Bye. Bye. Now, Ajike, tell me how we get to that old man you talk about. Good afternoon. Yes, yes sir. Uh, somebody described this place uh, for us. Yes. We are asking for Bai Shawuru. Yes. Now come to see me. Yes, yes sir. sir. I am Shawuru. Ah, thank come you. inside. Ah, thank you. Come inside. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Come inside. Thank you, sir. 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 <coughs> ah, Baba Shamu, uh, may you live long? I uh, hope there is no problem. Yes, sir. Uh, we have come all the way from Lagos. Ah, we have come to see you, sir. All the way from the city of Lagos? Yes, sir. Yes. That was a long way. Ah. Why have you come to see me? You see, Baba? Mm. I am tired of my life. Ah. Baba, I'm no more honorable in the sight of my in-laws. Why? Since I've got married five years ago, I have not got a child. Hmm. I've gone to various places uh. in search for an, an, an issue. 
But nothing has been able to cure my barrenness. Mm -hmm. Baba, I've been to priest and prayer prophets. I've bought cartons of candles, mm -hmm. black soap and sponge. Mm -hmm. I have taken bath by the riverside several times. Mm -hmm. What of my sleeping on the babish? I slept on the babish for 21 days. Oh. All to no avail. You see, Baba, my husband has spent a lot on me, uh. especially on this problem. We have done different kind of rituals upon rituals. Sacrifices upon sacrifices. Things will get better. Mm. Baba, I've made to drink a lot of concussion. Mm -hmm. All amount to no, no solution. I am tired of this life of mine. I'm tired. Mm. I'm tired of this life of mine. Things will be better. Then somebody came to us and tell us about you. Mm -hmm. That you are able to give us solution for this, uh, for this problem of us. That is why we are here. We need your help. We want you to help us. I just don't know where to go again. We need your help, Baba. Please. Baba, may you live long. Uh, right, right, so, right, so, right, so. Whatever you tell us to do, that we shall do. Yes. And whatever the cost, we will pay. Please, just help us. Please. Hmm. I will try my best hmm. to put smile on your face at last. Mm -hmm. Yes. Ah. Baba, of what value is my money without a child? Mm. And what is my word on earth if there is no child to eat out of my labor? Yes. Ah. Baba, I have money, but there is no child. Yes. And we have come to your rescue here. We have come to your refuge to hide from shame. Please help us. Please, Please. Baba. I assure you, it will be possible. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Woman, look at this calabash. Open it and take out the egg inside. Speak to the egg. Say everything that is happening to it and put it back. And cover the calabash back. It will be possible. Hey, Baba, you mean I, I should open it? Open it, take out the egg, speak to the egg and put the egg back. Cover the calabash. And I assure you by the power of the gods, the gods of our forefathers, it will be possible. Mm. See everything. Uh, should I cover it back? Cover it back. Mm -hmm. I'm put patiently for me. I'm coming. <sighs> I want to pass through this place. This ah. way. Oh, who can you shoot your man? Come on, 
Darkness resides in thick jungles. The mouse sees, even in the darkest night. Be it daytime or night time. The cat moves with impunity. Olumoro, the demon of strange knowledge. Show me the hidden things. The man who drinks the corn beer with the demons of the forest. Apo wura kutu bori shajo bi papo. Isha wuru. The man who eats the cola nut with the gods. <laughs> Arumeta. Ologo dudu apo du kalakolo. The horrible black guy whose eyes glitz in the dark. You in this matter again? This woman come from the city. What is our face? What has she done for you? Shaul, the woman has done us no harm. It was her stepmother that sealed up her womb. Her stepmother is a strong member of us. She is one of the strong witches at Arimomasa in nearby town. Ha 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 ha! The woman has been turned into a cock. Forget about her. She can never have a child. Can't you help her? Never! Our third mother is one of us. And we are bound by oath never to betray one another. We can never betray our stepmother. Isawuru, there is no power fear on this matter. We have gone ahead of her to all those hammerists, witch doctors, priests, and the prophet she has visited. And we have warned them all never to interfere in, in this matter. There is no hope for her again. She shall be buried for life. <laughs> Arumeta, you are standing on my way again. Only one of the mushrooms that stand on the way of the helivans will get crushed. And even a thousand eggs of the hen cannot withstand the pounding of the pestle in the mortar. Arometa, when the pamphron grows tall beyond its limit, its apex is brought off by the scorching sun. Arometa, you, these three horrible wishes. You are encroaching on me too often. You are encroaching on me too often. When the hag is boiled longer beyond necessary, it breaks open its shell and bursts out. You are encroaching on me too often. Here. His promises come to pass. Ah, are you almost dying, Miss Calabash? <laughs> ah, Baba. Ah, oh, so welcome. Awesome. Welcome, Baba. Mm. Welcome, sir. Thank you for all your efforts, Baba. Ah. Baba, oh. are you sure it's going to be possible? Ah, it will be possible. Eh? It will be possible. Eh? Eh. Hey. But you will just have to go home first mm. and come back here tomorrow afternoon. Ah. Yeah. But Baba, when we are coming back tomorrow afternoon, what ritual items do
do we bring? Uh, I don't know what you will bring yet until you come back here tomorrow afternoon. All right, Baba. Uh, but Baba, uh, will it be possible? How? Oh, go and put your mind at rest. I assure you, it will be possible. Okay, Baba. You just come back here tomorrow afternoon. Okay. All right, yes. Baba. Uh, you live long, Baba. It's all right. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Well, children to his vineyard to serve him. <laughs> but I don't believe, I repeat, I don't believe that God called you. This is my letter of resignation, and I wish to submit it tomorrow morning. Ah, but no! Ah, this is nonsense, madness and foolishness. Ah, but Kone, why should you do this? I will not support you. How do you think you are going to cope? I will never support you. Don't do this, Kola, eh? Don't do this. But see, see? The Lord has called me, and I will answer. But wait, have you counted the cost? <laughs> Look, counting the cost will not change the will of God. The Lord has called me, and I'm going to the ministry. Kola, you will not take that foolish step. I will never support you. Count me out. Please come in. Please be on to this house. Ah, Pastor. Ah, you're welcome, Pastor. Please, God bless you. Come inside. Come and have your seat. I believe everything is okay. Well, and uh, how is your wife, Sister Boss? She's fine, sir. Ah, good. Cool. Darling, the Pastor is here. Yes, sir. Akola, it's nice to see you. Man. Yes, sir. Ah, Pastor! Oh, good. Ah, nice to see you. Good evening, sir. <laughs> How are you? You are welcome, sir. Um, I do believe you are enjoying the Lord very well. Oh, yes, sir. The <laughs> Lord is faithful. Very Even the Lord is very good to us. Oh, praise the yes. Lord. Now, would you like to take any anything, like soft drink, mm -hmm. sir? It might not be necessary. I've just come to discuss some uh, important issues uh, with Brother Akola. Okay. Excuse me, sir. Now, Brother Kola, I've come to discuss some important issues with you. Okay, sir. Can we go to the dining table for the discussion, sir? 
Okay. Now, Brother Bimiro, I've been receiving some words from the Holy Spirit for you for the past two months now. And uh, you see, the words are very hard. That is why I haven't shared uh, those words with you since. Is it, Pastor? I was waiting for more confirmation from the Holy Spirit before sharing it with you. You see, Bracola, you are one of the senior workers in your company. And um, I heard that very soon you will be promoted to the position of uh, the personnel manager. But you see, Barakola, all what I'm receiving is different from all those news. Yes, Pastor. But what did you receive from me from the Lord? See, the last confirmation I got was a vision that I had last night. And that was what gave me the boldness to come and share these things with you. What is it, Pastor? See, Brakola, in my vision, the vision I had last night, I saw you in the village. You were preaching. You know, like a missionary evangelist sent to that village. Yes, Pastor. That's another confirmation. Jesus. No. Nothing will stop me. See, Pastor, God has sent you to come and strengthen my faith. For the past three months now, see, the Holy Spirit has been dealing with me to surrender my life and my will for His new direction. Pastor, I know now that the Lord is calling me into the ministry. Now, Brakola, God gave me a passage for you. It's in the book of Acts of Apostles, chapter 26 and verse 18. Let me just read it. Now, Acts chapter 26 and the 18th verse says, To open their eyes, and to turn them from darkness to light, and from the power of Satan unto God, that they may receive forgiveness of sins and inheritance among them which are sanctified by faith that is in me. You see, Brakola, God is sending you to a far away village to open the eyes of the blind and to turn them from darkness to light and from the power of Satan unto God. Uh, Pastor, this morning the Lord spoke to me in the book of Acts, chapter 22, verse 21. Okay. Let me read it to your hearing, sir. And he said unto me, Depart, for I will send thee far hence unto the Gentiles. Mm. Now I've got the picture clear, mm. and I know. The Lord wants to send me to the village. Mm. Mm. Yes, Brakola. And the Lord also said that He wants His power and His name to be made known all over that village. And that He wants His glory to fill the whole of that village. Mm. But Pastor, I've not known the, the, the village yet. Well, Brakola, if you are ready to go, you can ask the Lord and He will reveal the name of the village to you. And also, I must add this warning to you, Brother. The Lord says that it's good for you not to disobey Him so that His goodness and mercy will follow you. Pastor, yes. I am now ready with all my heart. But I have a great problem and an hindrance on my way. Now, Brakola, what is the problem? My wife, Bosse has 
child is not to support me. For the past one week now, this home has become hot for me. She suddenly turned hot against me. And I have not been enjoying the peace I used to enjoy in this house. Since I informed her that the Lord is calling me into the ministry, things have, been, have, have changed from bad to worse. I'm ready to obey the Lord. But my wife, I love her. Pastor, can you help me to talk to her? <laughs> Brother Kola, I shall try. What are you doing here? Ah, Ikeregbe, it is you. Is Olori Egbe the queen of the Emirates in the palace? Our Majesty and others are in the conference in the palace. I want to see Her Majesty Olori Egbe for a crucial matter. And what are you doing here while others are inside the palace? I'm going to be here, watching the gate leading into the palace. The rest are inside. Go and meet them. All right. to see you. Thank you. Go back to the palace gate. Familiar stories that rules the forest up here. I greet you. The shower room. Ah, for who rock with Bonish at the cabo. Ah, ah. The terrible witch doctor that shares Gola not with the gods of his forefathers. You are welcome. What can we do for you? Yes. A woman came to me in search of an issue. She has been married for five years without a child. Therefore, I promised her to, to look for a child for her at all costs. So I come here to find out 
if there is any of your children who wish to go into the midst of men to go and trade in the market of the world. Hey, Bob. You hear that? Ishawuru has come to borrow one of you into the midst of the men of the world. Which one among you wishes to go? Don't you wish to go? But I've just come back from a trip. My parents didn't take good care of me. I had to endure the four good years I spent with them. Before I die and came down here, I'm not ready to go on any trip so soon. I would rather stay here for some time. May I ask from Ishawuru the type of the person the people are? Ishawuru, are the people rich or poor? The home I was sent to during my last trip into the world, I was over pampered. I was born into a very luxury and excessive opulence. My father was a king over a big city, and I was born and bred in a palace that had all good things in excess. I had to endure the seven years I was compelled to spend with my parents. When my time was up to leave them, I could not even spend an extra hour in that palace. I died and quickly rose to enjoy the company of my colleagues. I can't withstand that of love to that type of wealth and luxury again. If I wish to have a trip into the world again, I wish to have a taste of poverty and wretchedness. The shower room. The people, are they rich or poor? They are not too poor. And they are not too wealthy either. They are moderately rich. They have money moderately, but no child. In that case, Olori let me go with the shower. I think I should go with him. Because the last trip I made into the world was not so pleasant. The woman that gave birth to me had not much on her. She was a Kulana seller. And my father was the weaver of Ashoki. I made sure I drained all the money they had and made them completely wretched before I left them. So, Lori Egbe, I wish to go with the Shawu. Lori Egbe, let the two of us go so that the woman can give her to twins. Then we can compel her to carry us about begging for money. Yes! Olu Yegbe, let the two of them go so that they can talk hard to a beggar, carry them about singing.
Let's see the number of years you have to spend with your parents in the world. One, <laughs> two, three, four, five, six. You have been given just six years to spend with your parents in the world. Hey! 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 And within these six years, you are allowed to spend with your parents. You are to drain up all their sources of income. Hey. Bring them into abject poverty. Hey. Until they become beggars hey. and beg for their daily food. Hey. I want you to be falling sick every three, three months. <laughs> And you must fall sick to the point of death every last month of the year. Mm -hmm. Take peace away from their home. Mm -hmm. And let all the attention be upon you. <laughs> and you must never allow them to have any other child after you. Mm -hmm. Omaja, remember to attend our fortnight meetings regularly. Yes. Oluriegbe, I stand by all your instructions, Oluriegbe, so be it. Ishaulu, Oluriegbe. the woman to take all the six cakes and break them into a cup. Let her steer them well and drink it up. When she does that, she will have a baby. Thank you, Olori Egbe. Olori Egbe, thank you. Oh my God. Shall we go? Go, Ishauru. I will meet you. Thank you. Oh my God. Thank you. you must attend our fortnight meetings and whenever a strange wind is about to blow against you send for help immediately all right thanks honorable and the rest of you you must always come to play with me right Yes. And uh, I feel Baba is not keeping so long. Yes, I mean because it's getting to about uh, one hour now. Ah. I think we should know the way out. Uh -huh. if eventually, we wait for him and uh, I don't see him. You mean you mean he may not come? We have tried so many things. We are, well, I hope that this will be the last prayer. Ah, but he was boasting the other day. I'm sure he'll be here. Ah, all these are uh, running up and down. It will just be like that. Hmm. It's beautiful. Ah, I hope it will be successful. Ah, I hope it will be successful. Ah. Baba Saouru. Baba Saouru. Ah. How is it, Baba? Will it be possible? Haven't I promised you that it shall be possible? Ah, Baba, Baba, thank you. Hey. 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 Thank ah. you, Baba. Thank hey. you, thank you, Baba. Hey. Hey. You mean it will be possible? Hey. Yes. Ah. Hey. 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 Thank you, Baba Saouru. Oh, no, we All you. what you want. Ah. Hey. Hey. Ah. Hey. Ah. 
if you be possible. Ah, ah dear. Is Radio, <laughs> wonderful. Hey. What you are looking for is in this calabash. Hey. In this calabash? Woman, when you get home, hmm. break all the six eggs in this calabash in the cup. Okay. Steer it very, very well hmm. and drink it all. Hmm. Eh? It should be taken raw. Ah? The eggs should be should be taken raw. Hmm. And only you should drink it. Once you do that, that is all. Ah. Hey, thank you, Baba. Eh? Thank, thank, thank you. Thank you very Atla. much. Ha. Uh, Baba, I, I do not know how to show our gratitude. Ah. Uh, what do we do now, ah. Baba? And uh, what do we bring for all these things? <laughs> how much shall we pay? Not much. Uh -huh. One black he got. A tin of palm oil, hmm. seven sticks of sugar cane. Hadun, hmm. roasted palm powder mixed with palm oil. Hmm. And plenty of roasted ground nut. Hmm. Bring all these things to me tomorrow afternoon so that I can take them to those who make this thing possible. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, Baba Shauru, uh, we will come back tomorrow with those items. All right. Take. Okay. Thank you, Baba. Hold it gently. Yes. Baba, we will come back tomorrow. Yes, we will come back. We will ah, come back. Thank All you, right. Baba. <laughs> May you live long. Thank you, Baba. We are expecting us tomorrow. All right. Hey, May you live long. <laughs> All right. We will come tomorrow. Ah. Get clear. Ah. <laughs> uh -uh. Is that the couple? Yes. Oh, what a fine couple. Go. Follow them. Wait, 
Sylvia, help me now. Help me break the egg and scare it properly. <laughs> no, Baba Isha will instruct that you must do it yourself. <laughs> and we have to obey all the instructions so that the thing will work out perfectly. Mm. And you break the egg, then stir it, and then break it raw. We have to do it fast. I'm going to drink all. <laughs> yeah. If your husband is saying that uh, the Lord wants him to go into full-time ministry, I will advise you let him go. Please, please, Sister Mary, I don't want to hear such a thing at all. Can you agree to such an idea if you are in my position? Hmm? You know what? It's because you've not got married yet. I believe you'll be married soon. And you will understand better what I'm saying. Listen. My family, even my relations, my parents, they know Kola, you know, that, 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 he, that he, is, he is gainfully employed. And they are happy about that. They even, they, they, they even have respect for our family. How should I now go to that family again and tell them that now my husband is about to, to resign his, 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 his employment? You know, for a full-time work in evangelistic work, you know, evangelistic ministry or whatever thing he said. How am I going to face them? What would they think we have? They will consider us being mad, stupid and foolish. But are the tender is the letter of resignation. Tender what? He wanted to try it before yesterday. I stood against him that if he should try it, mm -hmm. he will not have peace in this house. Did he make such a covenant with me on the altar on our wedding day? He didn't even discuss that with me before our marriage. That was during our courtship. I have given him an alternative. If you want to do any evangelistic work, I'm ready, you know, to be going along with him for us to have evangelism. I wouldn't even mind if it is every evening 
but he should forget anything about resigning his job and go for full-time evangelical work. That one should be forgotten. Totally. Sister Boston, I think I know what is happening to you now. You are, you are afraid of the future. There is, there is fear in your heart. And you are thinking about what you will eat, what you will, how you will close yourself. If eventually Brother Akola resign his appointment from that lucrative job. But if God really call Brother Akola, can God let him down? Won't he take care of him and all that concerns your husband? Won't God meet all your needs and take care of you? When God comes, he does not call into shame, disgrace and demotion but into honor and promotion. Let me show you something in the Bible. It's in the Tarunum. Tarunum 28, verse 1 and 2. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of, thy, of the Lord thy God, to observe, and to do all his commandments which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. And all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee, if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So you see, Sister Bose, that it is only when he obey the Lord that the blessing of the Lord will come. If you want to be blessed from the Lord, you must do exactly what He wants you to do, not what you want to do. Sister Mary, it's a pity that you are, you, you, you are not in the condition that I am now. If you are in my position, you will really know that it is not easy. What are you saying, Sister Bosco? <laughs> Can God who call your husband let him down? Ah. It a me new. If God call my husband into his ministry, I will give him my full support to Sister Mary. You see, what even annoyed me most is, is that he said God is calling him, you know, to come and work for him in a village. You see, in a village. Not even in a city or a nearby town. Ah. Where is he going to do the work? He said the Lord is calling him into a typical village. Village. Ah. A thick forest. Ah. For someone to leave a bustling city and go into a remote village. Isn't that foolishness and madness? Is it more ridiculous? Where there is no light, there is no electricity, no pipe or water, you know, there is no amenities, no nothing. Ah, uh ah, -uh. Sister Bose, <laughs> can your husband go to where the Lord has not sent him? Ah, uh -uh. she be if he only go to the exact place the Lord needs him. And that is where we go. Sister Mary, why are your words against me all the time? Are you for me or you are against me? Well, I'm on the low side. Where is Brother Akola? He's sleeping. I think he's tired. Well, I've even come for something different. I come to give Brother Akola our wedding invitation card. This is it. You don't need it. She be your bride's friend. So please, let me see. Ah, okay. The day is drawing nearer seriously. Ah, it's even less than a month now. <laughs> well, the whole church is aware about the program because the pastor has been making the announcement for the past two months. Ah, my husband is sleeping. She be your bride's friend. 
Doctor, please. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, okay. The day is drawing me out seriously. Ah, it's even less than a month now. <laughs> well, the whole church is aware about the program because the pastor has been making the announcement for the past two months. Mm -hmm. uh, my husband is sleeping, mm -hmm. but I will give him the card tomorrow. I'm going to Sabosa. Ah, my sister, thank you very much for your visit. My regards to Brakola. Okay. <laughs> God bless you. Thank you. Thank you very much for your visit. Okay. We are preparing hardly for the wedding. May the Lord will do it. Sister mm -hmm. I will implore you to allow the Holy Spirit to do His work in the life of your husband. Do not stand in the way of the Holy Spirit. Leave Brother Kola alone to obey the Lord. It is very, very important. Oh no, Sister Mary. Forget about that. Let's talk of more important things. Drop that aside. Forget about that. Oh, no, it's not important. Oh, 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 Children of the living God, we are suffering. The devil holds us up in bondage. Come over. Come on, everyone, save us. coming from it seems there is a village around this place or is it a noise of war <laughs> wait a minute I don't hear the noise again it seems I'm moving in an opposite direction let me take this place
I've missed the direction. Oh, the voice is surely coming somewhere behind me. Wait for me. I am coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. so soon and the voice made mention of a man he said the witches and the emiris the familiar spirit they are working together to put the people in the village in bondage wait I shouldn't have forgotten the name of that village ah, is it not Mumwa Mumwa Lewe? No. Mu eh Mu Mumwa Leru. No. Mu. Okay. Oh yes, Mumwa Leru. Muoneru. The village is Muoneru. Where? Where is Muoneru's village? What type of dream or what type of dream is that? That you are shouting from your sleep. Ah. I don't I was shouting honestly in my dream that I am come you. Well, that must be the name of the village I wanted, I had wanted to know. But, how can a village be called Mumaleru? Are you still on this matter? <laughs> you are still on the village matter. Eh?
And in that dream, I saw some creeping plants entangled my, my legs. I tackled with it for some time. Suddenly, I find myself in a river. Sister Mary came here yesterday evening. She brought the wedding invitation card. And you know the day the, the day is just drawing nearer. Less than a month now. Mr. Daniel brought this letter this morning from the chairman. Yet he, he said that the chairman said he should give the letter to you. And he has traveled with the chairman to Abuja this morning. I think he didn't just want to drop the letter on your table in your office. No, that's why he brought it home. Mr. Daniel, that's our company secretary. Mm -hmm. And what type of letter is this? <laughs> what? Jesus! What that? What's in the letter? Abuja branch manager. My God. Hallelujah. Ah, my God, you are good. Yes. Yes. Ah, God is good. Eh? Yeah. Let me read it. Let me it. Ah, dear. Letter of promotion. Mm. We are happy to inform you that the board of directors of this company have approved your promotion to the post of the branch manager mm -hmm. with immediate effect. You are therefore advised to resume work in Abuja as the branch manager on the 25th of this July. By virtue of your new post, you are entitled to one of the company's duplex buildings in Abuja with a company's car and medical allowance. Therefore, you are now on the company's special grade level. Lastly, be informed that you are entitled to an annual five weeks leave in London if you so wish. If you accept this offer of promotion please write a letter of acceptance of offer of promotion and submit it in the chairman's office within 24 hours of your reception of this letter congratulations chairman photo of directors <sighs> <laughs> hallelujah hey, abuja branch manager yeah. Hey, hey, hey. hey. Duplex building in Abuja. Hey, hey, hey. Company's car, official car. Ah. <laughs> you are even placed on the company's special salary scale. That means your salary is doubled. And you are entitled to annual leave in London. Hallelujah! Ah! Hey, oh God, you are good. He's a miracle working God. Ah. Mm. Oh God is a miracle working God. But what is this? What is really happening? Nothing is happening, dear. Nothing. That's the miracle we've been expecting. That's the promotion we've been expecting for long. Ah. Nothing is happening, dear, darling. Nothing is happening, Jerry. <laughs> ah. Congratulations. Don't you see? Up 
things work out for good to those who love God. Yes, congratulations. If you attend your resignation letter, you will have lost the promotion you have been expecting for a very long time. Thank God you get the promotion at last. Now, wait a minute. Do you know you will soon become a director in that company? Ah, director? Impossible. At least I have to serve in this company for another seven years before I will be promoted to the post of director, if possible. I don't think it's possible. Don't think it is impossible. All things are possible to those who believe. Yes. Why did you expect it to become a personnel manager? Before the Lord gave you double promotion to the post of a branch manager. God loves you so much. That is why God is treating you specially. He loves you so much. His mercies and his goodness are encompassing you every day. Oh yes. The Lord that gave you the promotion. Double promotion to the post of a branch manager. We promote you to, the, to become the director in that company. Be expecting your miracle! Hmm. This could really be true. What? What is that? What's that there? See, no spirit is speaking into my heart mm -hmm. that I'll soon become one of the directors of the company. <sighs> that should be the spirit of God! Yes, in the spirit of God. You see, the promise of God to us is that we will be the head and not the tail. And the Lord that did that of the branch manager unexpectedly shall surely give us the post of the director. Ah, we believe in miracle. I had somebody come into the city room. Who is that person? He is Pastor Lawrence. He said he wants to see you urgently. And that's why he has come very early before you leave for office. He is sitting, waiting for you in the sitting room. Eh? Pastor Lawrence? Yes. Let me see. Dear, don't tell him about the letter of promotion you have just received. Let's keep it secret, right? Good morning, Pastor. Oh, good morning, Brother Asa. <laughs> oh, I hope you don't mind me coming very early in the morning like this. <laughs> it's alright with me, sir. Oh. How is mommy? I'm oh, she's fine. She's fine. <laughs> um, Brother Ola, I've come to discuss a very important matter with you. How was that, sir? You see, Brother Ola, while I was praying this morning, the Holy Spirit opened my eyes, he opened my spiritual eyes. And I saw you. I saw you having an entrance on your way. You know, it was like an entanglement, you know. You were entangled somehow. And then you, I saw you trying to get out of the entanglement. And Pastor, what does that mean? Well, I don't fully understand, but I know it has to do with the call of God upon your life. You know, the Holy Spirit has been impressing His call, the call of God upon your life. But the caller, concerning the last discussion we had about the call of God upon your life, what have you decided? Have you known the name of the village? Yes, Pastor. Eh? I've known the name. You've known the name of the village? Ah, that's good. Then tell me the name. <laughs> that's great news. Mwaleru. Mm -hmm. Mwaleru. I had the name in my dream this morning. But I don't think there is a village called Mwaleru. Ah, ah, brother Kola. How can the Lord give you, uh, reveal the name of a village 
that does not exist to you? That village exists, Brother Kola. We'll have to investigate. Maybe we'll have to go to the motor park and ask the drivers about the village called Mumwaleru. That village exists, Brother Kola. We'll have to investigate. We'll have to make inquiries about that village. Brother Kola, or oh, is your mind changing on this issue? Why are you so cold on the issue? Huh. What letter is this? You read it, Pastor. Abuja branch manager. Pastor, what shall I do now? Brother Akola, what do you mean what shall I do? Ah, this doesn't surprise me at all. This letter doesn't move me at all. Look, Brother Akola, when God opens one door, the devil will open ten other doors beside it just to confuse the child of God and to distract him from fulfilling the will of God. Look, Brother Akola, you have to choose. Daniel had to choose to eat the food of slaves rather than defile himself eating and drinking the food of the king. What steps should I take now, Pastor? <laughs> Brother Kola, you have only one step to take. You have to make a choice. You have to place this line before you. The village of Mualeru is there. And the capital city of Abuja is also there on one side. You have to decide and find out which one is the will of God for you out of the two. You have to make a choice. Simple. Pastor, please, just continue to pray for us. Brother Kola, you know the counsel of God cannot be changed. His purpose and surely stand. If you refuse to fulfill the counsel of God, God will raise up somebody else who will fulfill his counsel. But I want you to know this part. Instead of God to change his purpose or plan, he would rather change man. Pastor, I understand. Just be lifting us up in your daily prayers. And God will surely help us. Well, Brother Father, I have to take my leave now. Thank you very much, sir. But, Brother Father, you know you ought to have been in Muwale village by now. Precious souls are waiting for you there. And you know this issue has to do with salvation of souls. At the same time, you are expected to report at the Abuja office next week. Which one I do? Abuja or Muwale? Well, sir, I cannot say anything right now. I will see you later. Thanks for your concern. Here comes that. Here comes that. Here comes that Arometa. The terrible cat whose hands greet us in the dark. Here comes that. You sent for me, and I come to meet you at your dwelling place. He could do a boy right. The terrible black mouse that sees the crawling hands in the darkest night. I pay homage. I pay homage. Here comes that. May I come in? Ishauru. When, when we ask you one pay homage, homage the they ask you give way, way for it. it. Come, Come inside. inside. Then, then, let, let the other way! way. Hey, could you do a boju rai rai? Olo boji golo, habara miyo miyo. Olo gini dudu a boju kalakolo. The deadly cat whose hides greet us in the dark. 
I have come. The black mouth that sees the crawling hands in the darkest night. I have come. When the mother hears the cry of a babe, she's tears. You called me and I have come. We consider this discussion very important and we do not want to talk to you in your room. Therefore, we called you to this place that we may talk face to face. Shaul, look, you have stepped upon our toes again and you know too well the cost must be paid. Nothing you say will appease our wrong and nothing you do will stop our vengeance. We shall strike back. What did I do? What was my offense? Kishawu, are you asking us a question? You have gone to Emere's familiar spirit to get a child for the woman we have vowed not to allow a child. Kishawu, you have said and I told the again and we shall take pleasure. Oh. Arometa. Was it a good child I give to her? No, not at all. It was problem child I give to her. The child that will be falling sick every three months. The child that will steal peace from their home and exchange it with restlessness and affliction. A child that will drain their paws and drag them to abject poverty. A child that will turn them from rich couple to helpless beggars. Harometa, it was terrible problem I gave to them. Not a child. No, Ishawur, we shall not accept that. Whatever door we close, no one is allowed to open it. No, no one. All right. What is your price? What cost do I pay for that? What type of vengeance do you want to take? Tell me your price. And this is our price. We shall take from you the blood of 21 people in village. In place of a child you gave to your friends. Is that all? Is that all you have called me for? If it pleases you to wipe off the whole inhabitant of Mualeru, it pleases me too. Whatever you like, you can do to the villagers of Mualeru. Only one thing I ask of you do not withdraw your support from me. Harometa, back me up. So be it. Harometa, are you not the one controlling the affairs of this village? Emirates. Never stop afflicting them. And so you witches also never stop tormenting them either. You are the source of their fear, affliction, sickness, torment, and difficulty. Bad luck, premature death, and abject poverty are the weapons with which you fight them. You have been giving them slow, painful death before now. If you now take 21 out of them in a single day, is it much? Ah, Roberta, whatever you like you can do with them. It is my own part in the assignment that you should tell me. Good of you, Shaoru. Good of you, Abebora Mutsinyoga. The fearless man who drinks corn beer with the demons of the forest. Good of you. Now, this is your own part of the assignment. Look at this padlock. You must go and lock the lives of the 21 people inside it. And after I have locked them up in the padlock, what do I do next? Bury the padlock inside your hot ashes and they shall all die of heat and pain. <laughs> is that all? When the work is done, Shaul, and you begin to hear the people 
and their family crying and shouting. You must not go to their house. And you must not allow any one of them to be brought to your own house. That is all. That I must not help any of the victims. And I must not go to their houses. And I must not let them come to my house. Eh? So be it. Go your way. I remember. I've been in Bogu Bogu. Ologin Nijigolo Abara Mio Mio. You are the three terrible wishes that must not be despised. I bow in homage. I bow in homage. I bow in homage. I hear from the laboratory. Uh, doctor, are, are you sure those signs of weakness that she's complaining about are not uh, evidence of some serious sickness? Ah, uh, engineer. No, not at all. She says she feels dizzy every morning. And that uh, she vomits when she eats. And at times, she doesn't feel like eating. Those are no signs of serious sickness. But before I say anything further, I need to hear from the laboratory. Um, doctor, for the past few days, I discovered that she sleeps a lot. You don't worry. Just let me hear from the laboratory. Uh, is that right? We'll wait. <coughs> uh, how was the place? Not all that bad. Hello, doctor. Uh, welcome, welcome, madam. Okay. <clears throat> I hope the I mean the test was really carried out. Uh, yes, yes. Oh. Right. In fact, they are very competent. Oh. And we wait for the the doctor said we wait for the laboratory report. Yes. Okay. Hope there is no problem, doctor. From the laboratory. From the laboratory. Yes. Doctor. Okay. Urine analysis result. Yes. Pregnancy test. Okay. Positive. Thanks. Thank you. Engineer, congratulations. You are expecting the baby. Oh. You, baby. <laughs> Doctor, is it really true? Are you sure? In fact, the pregnancy is now two months old. Wow! Yes! Uh, I would like that you start to buy things for the arrival of the new baby. Ah, uh, yes! Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. I will be a proud owner of this bed. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Try your best. He suddenly begin to grow and getting too hot from within. Baba, help us. Baba is he, he he says he's feeling terribly hot. That in the whole of his body, he has a, a fire, fire in his body. Baba, Ishawuru, we beg you, please, whatever you can do to, to, to revive him. He suddenly decided, we discovered that he cannot even stand on his legs again. He, he was in serious pain. Presently now we discovered that he, he's dying, he's dying, Baba, please, please. Baba is Aulu. Please help. See, come and see the body. Baba is terribly sick. What type of sickness is this? Please help us. See, we brought him here so you can help, Baba. You don't need to bring him here. You need not bring him here. What you will do is this. You will take him back home. 
and you will lay him down. Uh, and then you will go and look for uh, Jale Boti leaves uh, together with the seed of Eyo Joka. Uh, uh, and you will bind it together with Oriamo the Shabada. Uh, uh, and then next, you will begin to rub it all over his body. Perchance, uh, he can get better. Uh, 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 Baba, please help us. Where do we get Jale Boti leaves and Eyo Joka seeds at this time? Baba, we need to act fast before Baba Tola dies. Please, Baba, help us. Ah, ah. Hey. Ah. Ah, Baba, he doesn't even breathe well again. Ah, Baba, please do something. This young man is dying. Baba, please help us. Help us. Please do something. Don't let him die. Baba, please. If you had brought him when the strange sickness started, I would have been able to do something. It's all your fault. What you will do now is that you will quickly go. You will send somebody to Jabata Street to go and look for Jale Boti leaves. Mm -hmm. And then, you will quickly go to Folaji Forest. Ah. And you go and look for, for uh, your Joka seeds ah. under the tree of Shesha Olongo. Ah. And you ah. band it all together ah. with sheer butter, ah. Oriyama, and you, rub, and you rub it over his body. Ah. By chance, ah. Ah. the gods may spare his heart. Ah. Baba, I we can't take him away. Ah. Baba, I doubt if he can even last the next 10 minutes, Baba. You know, say we should go to uh, go and look for uh, something in the forest, Baba. To go from here to the village of the forest will take about three hours' work. And before we go and come back, uh, uh, this man would have died, Baba. Please do something, if Baba. You help now, us. If you go now, before the sunset, you will have come back. Quickly take him away, take him home now, and look for the leaves and the seed. Hey, 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 wait a minute, Baba. He doesn't breathe again. Come and see. Baba Tola is dead! Ah, hey. Hey. Is it no. that clear? Baba, Baba is dead! Baba. Please, ah. quickly Baba. take him away! Oh. Take him away Baba. quickly! Ah, Baba. 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 Baba Tola ah. is dead! Ah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's all your fault! Ah. 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 If you Baba. had brought him earlier before oh. now, I would have been able to It's all your fault! And I will come and see you! I will come and see him too. In the village. Ah, in this village of ours, Baba, horrible things are happening. About 15 people have died mm -hmm. within the past two hours mm -hmm. in this village of ours. And there are mournful noises coming up from various directions in this village of ours. Mm -hmm. The amazing thing in this matter is that they were all shouting of a strange fire burning within, within them. Some of them said they felt as if they stepped on red hot coals. Mm -hmm. I have never seen this type of sicknesses mm -hmm. in my life ever since I was born. Mm -hmm. Perhaps the gods are annoyed. Hey. It must be strange epidemics. Mm -hmm. Perhaps the gods are annoyed with us. Hey. We must make necessary rituals and sacrifice ah, to Baba. appease the wrath of the gods. Try and do something. Uba. I have heard all you mm -hmm. say. Thank I you. will start preparing ah, thank for you. the necessary region. Yeah. The gods are annoyed. Mm. And you must appease their wrath. Mm. Go home. Ah. Look, Baba, Baba try and do something. No. I will, I will Don't be late, so Baba. I will come. Yes, I will go. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Mm. Thank you. I hope this is my fault. Why do you all rush to me to disturb my peace? You better go and appease the wrath of Arumeta, the three implacable witches, and Oloriebe, the queen of the Emirates. The two powers are locking horns in battle, and we are to elevate fight. The Grand Benef suffer the greatest ruin. All of you, go, go! Go and meet the two of them. Go and meet the two powers, and stop pestering my life with your problems. Uh, well, we thank God. Uh, we really 
Bilih Cenggur Ah ah You can't compare yourself with me You have been in this city for long You know I've just arrived in this city Not quite long Ah <laughs> We thank God <laughs> Ah Ah You said Oh my my voice has changed a bit. <laughs> well, we really thank God. Uh, we thank God. <laughs> uh, 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 this is my second month in uh, Abuja City now. Uh, I can't put on weight yet. <laughs> Ah, you mean my wife, Pose? She's fine. She's fine. Ah, well, uh, God has done a miracle now. <laughs> She's been uh, employed in uh, one of those uh, foreign airlines office. Yes, in Abuja, <laughs> and she she will resume in the office next week. Yes. <laughs> well, uh, I will see you tomorrow evening. Yes. I. <laughs> oh, you know I'm a newcomer here. Yes. Uh, my driver will bring me down there. You know he's been here for some years. And he knows the areas and corners of Abuja. I. Uh, he must know your area in Matana. Yes. Okay. All right. Take care. <laughs> bye bye. Thank you. <laughs> bye. that your company has this contract that you want to award to a competent contractor? Actually, it is true, Chief. We are just thinking about the company that will handle the, the work. See, uh, the Minister of Works has instructed us to do the electrical wiring of 55 duplex buildings. And he gave us just two months to complete the work. Ah. Mr. Ulube Miro, if you are talking about a competent electrical contractor here in Abuja, you have to consider my company first. <laughs> I can do it. We are competent and reliable. And we can handle it. Give us the contract. <laughs> Chief Alatishe. We have about 10 application letters already for this contract. Uh, why can't you go and bring a letter on behalf of your company too? It is true, I'm the branch manager here. But the chairman is in Lagos and he is going to approve the company to handle the work. <laughs> All right, Mr. Rubenero. It is true that it is your chairman that will sign the approval. But who will give the recommendation? Of course it is you. Come on, friend. Let's talk real business. Whichever company you recommend will apparently get the contract. All right. Mr. Rupenu, why don't you tell your chairman 
that our company is reliable and competent to take this contract. <laughs> Chief Alatishi, this thing is not as easy as you think it to be. You got to take the right channel. You go and write an application later on behalf of your company and submit it. All right. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Mr. Mugino. Hundred thousand naira. Thank you, the money as your transport pay to your chairman in Lagos. Tell him that we have the ability to do the work competently. Chief Alatishi, what is this? What is this money for? It is all yours. It is your transport fee. Take it, Mr. Olubeniro. Go and tell your chairman that we are reliable and competent electrical contractor and we can do the job. You mean 200,000 Naira is a transport fee from Abuja to Lagos? <laughs> Look, I don't want this money. You take it away from me. I don't want it. No, no, I will not take it, I will leave it here on your table, I will leave it until tomorrow, I will give you time to think about it, and if by tomorrow you don't want the money, then I will come and take it, but if you want the money, I will come back by this time tomorrow to receive a positive answer to my request. Is that okay with you? Okay. I'll leave it here on your table. Alright, Mr. Dubebro. I am going, but tomorrow I shall be back to take the answer. You will fully establish your own company and you will have to stand on your own. See, you are just getting money from left and right. This is God's special provision. But this is not God's provision, you know? This is real right? And it's against the will of God. Ah! You call me the bride? No! I'm the bride. You will pay your price for me. Oh! There are many children of God that are doing the same thing nowadays. Oh yes! This is God's special provision for you. Ah, remember that the Lord can use any man to bless his children. He can use a believer. He can use an unbeliever. The Lord has used Shifana Kishi to bless you. This is God's special provision. It is not a bride at all. All good things come from God. And in all things, in the times. Mm. 
Ooh. This is the part of unrighteousness. And this is not the will of God at all. Is it not the will of God? That the glory of God be shine on you? Is it not the will of God? That you should be riding beautiful cars? Is it not the will of God that you should build beautiful houses that we glorify the Lord? Remember the scripture says, Thou shalt eat the riches of the Gentiles, and in their glory thou shalt boast yourself. Shiva is a Gentile, and the Lord has used him that you will eat his riches. This is the will of God. Bet. 200,000 Naira. Is this really a, a, a provision of God? <laughs> the blessings of Abraham are yours. The blessings of Abraham are yours. These blessings, they are yours. Hmm? God as the Lord bless Abraham. The Lord shall bless you tremendously here in Abuja. <laughs> Shiva is just one of those several people that are coming to bless you so that you will eat the riches of the Gentile. Remember the scripture says, Thou shalt not be ashamed in the days of evil. However bad the economy of this nation may be, you will continue eating the riches of the Gentile. This is a provision from the Lord. Don't let it pass you by. Congratulatory message to the couple, and he said you are so choked up with the uh, assignment here that you are unable to come. And how was the marriage? Did he give you any report of it? Ah, he reported that it was so glorious, and that many people came in large number. And he even said that Pastor Lawrence spoke very well at the marriage service. Braclemen said it was a living testimony. A wonderful one. And he said that Pastor Lawrence explained to the congregation that we will have been in the marriage program as a close friend of the couple, but we are transferred to Abuja and you are so much occupied with the work that we are unable to come. Dear, we need to send our own gift very soon. We shall send it soon. I'm feeling hungry. Ah! 
Don't you have anything I can eat in this office? I have so much in hunger. Ah, this portfolio is so nice. So fine. Have you got You just bought it. Ah. No, no, no. Ah. Don't open it. What is this?